All right, so you guys wanted a video of the collet closer for the South Bend. It's by South Bend Heavy 10, 1940s era. Uh, should be all pretty much the same. Um, so these uh, collet closers are pretty straightforward. It works just like the lever closer or like the uh, hand wheel closer. Uh, big difference is there's two rings here. This, this ring is attached to the spindle. It's keyed on there. This ring is free to turn. So this is how you tension your collet. So let me undo this here and I'll show you how this works. Um, so it collet goes in like a normal 5C collet. That uh, just goes into your, your standard collet closer or your, your, your collet adapter. And then you tighten this down until you get your collet to its full set position. Keep, keep cranking that down and eventually it'll get tight. Um, it'll need to be a little bit loose and as you move the handle back and forth, that's what engages it. So in the uh, position towards the operator, pulling it back this way, that is uh, released and then pushing away from the operator uh, tightens the uh, collet down on your part. So um, you adjust this to whatever tension you'd like um, you know, it really doesn't matter. Uh, I tend to take it to where it's tight for the part, but not uh, overly tight so that I'm not putting a lot of stress on the components here. And then you tighten down the set screw here. And what that does is it locks the uh, engagement here so that if you do operate while it's running, you know, if you have, say, a, uh, a tail stock that you're allowed to uh, feed the stock into and against, um, you know, you can... Keep, do that while it's running and you won't risk any slip or adjustment here. Um, this collet closer, the way they go on, there should be a screw underneath here. This one, uh, it's not original, looks like somebody turned down a socket head cap screw for this. It's just a pin that this rides on and this is your uh, bar that holds that on. Some lathes don't have the tapped hole underneath here for this. The other thing to watch out for too is sometimes when using your back gears like mine, uh, mine was not originally set up for this, so this handle actually interferes with this and I need to actually adjust this. Uh, it's just a project I haven't gotten to yet. So my back gears don't fully engage with the collet closer installed. So one thing I do wanna show you, let me get my collet out of here. Um, you do need a different gear here. You can kind of see the lighter uh, metal piece. This is a, um, extended gear that uh, is designed just for this collet closer. I'm going to take this out and set it here. So if I adjust it around, so I actually made this piece myself. Um, it's it's a standard gear here and it's got um, it's got a uh, spline here that uh, allows the full um, the, there's a keyway in here that you, that you use there we go. Sometimes it's uh, got such a good fit that actually oil kind of makes it stick. So this is just a standard, um, standard key you can get at the hardware store. So definitely don't want to lose that. But that is what keeps the um, collet closer locked to your uh, spindle and engaged so that it, it turns correctly with everything else. Um, so if you don't have that extended gear and they're hard to find, you can make a bushing like I did. It's just a piece of steel that comes out a little bit from the main gear that's underneath this cover here. And uh, you'd have to broach a keyway slot in it. And uh, that's all you need for it. So I, I made mine to be a fairly close fit. It's always got an oil film on there, but it certainly does get uh, rather tight in there. But it, it does uh, does fairly well. Not, uh, not too hard to use. Oh, and there it goes. So <laughs> definitely don't do that. That's all there is to it. That's pretty straightforward.